I'm Frances, and today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to create a lovely bow for your favorite family member, your dog, and a leash to go with it. Oh. Picking your materials for your project is the first step in creating this project. Here, I've went ahead and cut out squares for the bows and you'll see what I'm talking about when we're going through the steps. I have ribbon for the collar part or the necklace part. I have a hot glue gun because this is a no sew po project DIY. I have a velcro that we're going to be attaching to each end with hot glue. I'll show you later on in the video. And of course scissors. To help me today I have Amy and JD. Okay, so we don't need the ribbon at the moment. Our first thing that we're going to be doing is the bow. So let's put that to the side. It really requires two people. So Amy's going to start. We already have our square here. Go ahead, Amy, and put a piece of glue right there for me. And you're going to make your, your bead of glue from your glue gun thin enough but you're gonna have to put enough on there in order for it to stick and you'll see why I'm talking about you just don't want your bow to be too thick okay so you're gonna see you see that right there we're gonna fold this into the middle can you see that okay, we're folding this over and now Amy's gonna do the same thing on the other side Make sure you have plenty of glue sticks available. Great. And we'll fold this over like that. Okay. And after you've smoothed it out, you're going to put the side that you have just glued, you're putting that face where down. Now, Amy's going to put a line of glue right here on one of the edges. It didn't. It doesn't matter if she did it there or she did it, chose to do it here. After she's done this, we're going to fold this to the top. Okay. Now, what I like to do to make it look nice you have a square you're going to flip this inside out that's all I did so now the bad edges are inside okay now on the sides that you don't have glue just accordion style scrunch I just made uh, four little little wrinkles here then you have to kind of play with it to make sure that it looks just the way you like it so I might just try to do this it's folded just the way that we like it now I'm going to carefully place a little bit of glue just in the inside just enough to hold the edges together but careful enough not to hurt Amy I've chosen to use this pink ribbon, so this part, I'm just going to add a little piece of glue right here, and then Amy's going to push down, then it wouldn't have mattered if I did it in the middle or what I did it, where I did it really.
last but not least, just a little bit more at the end. And then you're going to take your scissors. whichever pair you'd like and you're just going to clip this end okay now we have now you can fix your bow to your liking you see I might just add a little bit more glue here make it nice and neat. Okay? Now, have you had a pause? Okay, now that we have our adorable bow, we're going on to the next step. So we'll put that to the side. I went ahead and cut for JD, my lovely assistant here, the correct big, or width for our dog, Gypsy. So it's 23 inches across. Now I'm going to ask JD to take the Velcro and cut two little pieces. I guess we just need one. Which ribbon do you want to use for the necklace, JD? Orange. Orange. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And this was 89 cents at Walmart, guys. So very inexpensive. Go ahead and just cut like, you know, it does a rough estimate. There you go. That's good. Just one piece is all we need. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask JD to put a little piece of glue. What you're going to do, you're going to put some glue on the back side of this. And make sure to get basically, yeah, not too much, but just enough. Okay. And then carefully put it on one edge. And while that's drying, he's going to do the same thing on this side, but maybe not with so much glue or without hurting yourself. Okay. And now you see we have this, just like that, so that when you go to connect them, they will make a necklace. And now the final step. We have our bow. We have our necklace. Very easy. Now this DIY expert right here is finishing up his project by putting